three years ago next month, Dr. Diana Green took over as Duval County School Superintendent. Today, she announced some changes going forward as she begins her fourth year on the job. Students will be back in class in person for the fall semester, but Dr. Green says some parts of the online homeroom system will still be used. And masks and other face coverings, they will be allowed. Not optional, but they are optional, but not mandatory. And five high schools in the system will serve as vaccination sites for anybody 12 years old and up. Our students have access to uh, their clinics as we did this year. We're going to uh, continue to uh, beef up our health support. The school district is looking to hire hundreds of new teachers and almost two dozen school safety officers for the upcoming school year. Undersize Don White is live on the South Bank. And Don, that's just one of the topics that you talked about today with Superintendent Green. Good afternoon, Jeannie. I'm here outside of school headquarters, and if you are qualified to work as a teacher or a school safety officer, the district would like to hire you by August. Okay, Kelsey, it's your turn. If we were experiencing a teacher shortage, we're still experiencing that same teacher shortage. Duval County Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Diana Green says the district has about 300 teacher vacancies. We just had a job fair, so hopefully that job fair is going to pan out many of those vacancies being filled. Green says the district is also in the process of hiring 20 additional school safety officers for elementary schools. We have now wrapped vans that are out in the community. We're continuing to uh, work with JSO giving us uh, leads to individuals that may just uh, have retired. The Florida Board of Education voted to ban teaching critical race theory in public schools. That looks at social and legal issues as they relate to racism. Green says that doesn't impact schools here in Duval County. We have always taught strong American history, African American history. The names of six schools named after Confederate leaders will change. <laughs> The goal is to have signage changed by August 3rd. We're getting ready to do walkthroughs for each of the schools to determine all the locations that need changing. Nike will pay for away uniforms and the Jacksonville Jaguars will pay for home uniforms for sports teams. Coming up at 6, I'll have more on who will be changing, who will be paying for these school name changes. Live in the South Bank, Don White, First Coast News on your side. Don, thanks so much.